Hello, it's Keith from Amped Publishing, and today I'm going to review a WordPress plugin called Contentio. Uh, basically, what it does is it goes out to YouTube and it searches for any videos that have subtitles uploaded with it. Now, what subtitles are, uh, I guess like it could be a couple of different things. Um, publishers of YouTube are allowed to upload a text file that can be used for closed captioning or uh, just simply to, you know, it could be a complete uh, translation of the video to text. Um, so it's a, it's a big text file and it helps for SEO purposes as well as, um, uh, you know, just other, if there's a different language uh, that's being used in the video and you wanted it to be English, you could have an English version uploaded um, and then that would display to users, um, you know, to, to users watching that video. Now, how that ties in with this plugin is, is it's basically, it's going to look for videos that have this text file uh, attached to it okay and it's gonna basically download that text and create a post with the video uh, and you can also spin that text as well okay so it's so it's more unique now there's a few other features there I'm gonna just jump in there uh, and, and show you real quick um, but for the most part it's basically video curation but not just the video okay it's actually bringing text right and we all know that for search engine authorization we need to have some content on the page um, so that's exactly what this does now Contentio, uh, it integrates with using, um, and also obviously you need to have a YouTube API key, uh, and it also integrates with something called Buffer.com, uh, which is a social syndicator. Now, Buffer is, you can get it for free here, uh, it just has some limitations as to how many scheduled posts you can do per profile. Um, so you'll see here for 10 bucks, you can you know pretty much get 10 times that amount, so it's not real heavy on cost, uh, but you can certainly use the free version if you want to take advantage of uh, basically syndicating any of your video posts to uh, to your social networks okay so uh, so there's that integration now what it also has here is what's called special words okay now what this is gonna do is it's gonna any words I, I enter in here I'm gonna put I'm gonna add a link to it and it's gonna go through um, any of the content that it downloads and it's gonna replace this word uh, with or not it's gonna replace but it's gonna add a link to any of these words that we find now I'm gonna do a search here on diet on the keto uh, ketogenic diet so I'm gonna look for the word keto and I'm gonna put just a fake link in there for now and then the word protein and have it uh, a, a link there as well now, obviously, you'd want to run this to maybe an affiliate offer or some other, you know, piece of content that you're going to monetize. Okay, so you can add these as many as you'd like um, in this special words area. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look here. All right, so what we have is uh, on the dashboard, you're gonna just basically see trending content. Uh, that's what's here right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do a search on diet. And we'll find a video here that we can use, and I'll show you exactly really how easy it is to do. So here's the keto diet that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna work with. Now, one caveat is that not all videos have subtitles. Okay, uh, sometimes they do have some titles, and then they're removed by the user. So sometimes you may get a video back in the results that you click on, and it's gonna say there's nothing here uh, because the the owner has removed it. Um, so just be aware of that. But for the most part, I, it seems that most of the results that I'm getting, I'm finding the actual content to it. Uh, for instance, here's this one. Okay, so now you can change your thumbnail uh, for this particular post. And it's basically taking all of that text that it has uploaded as a subtitle right here. Okay, so now we do have some words in here um, like keto and protein. And what we'll do is, I'm not going to spin this right now, but you can just hit the spin button and it will basically spin this content uh, for you. Um, so what I would do is, if you're going to plan to spin it, just spin it first and then do any edits you want you want to do to the article um, you know, after you spin. But I'm going to leave this alone and we'll see if it actually adds those links to the words that I've specified. Now, of course, you can edit the post title. Here's all the tags that it's getting from the YouTube video as well. So it's going to create WordPress tags um, for this video as well based on those particular tags. Now we have a word count an estimated read time and some other areas here okay so what we can do is we can add it to any categories that we want so now I just have some this is just a test site of mine so I'm just gonna put it in the call to action uh, category for right now now we have some settings here we can include a thumbnail in the post include the video um, attribution or and then of course post immediately and I'm gonna include the video in this particular one now what you can also do is add a footer link so for here I could be something like my offer and then of course we're gonna run a link here to whatever that offer is. And this is gonna insert this at the bottom of all of this content, okay? So not only are you getting links inside your content, but you'll also be able to add any anything additional, any additional call to action basically at the very bottom of it, okay? So now here's your syndicate on social networks. As I said, you have to integrate with um, with Buffer to do so, uh, which I don't have hooked up, but it's something that if, you, if you're big on social media, which you should be, uh, just go ahead and, and connect that. 
Now, what you can also do here is add to tray. Now, what this tray is, is, is it basically allows you to group multiple videos into one big post. Okay, so you could have multiple videos um, and content on one, you know, on one huge post if you wanted to. All right, so what I'm going to do is basically just create this post. Okay, so you'll see we have the, here it is right here. This is my actual post. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it. Now I have just a generic theme installed, so it's probably going to be a pretty ugly looking post, um, but here it is. Okay, so we have this, there's my video, and here is all the links, right? So you can see it'll link now to Google, I guess is what I put in there. Um, so you'll see it's taken all those keto, keto there, keto here. Uh, let's see if we have uh, keto. Yep. So it's finding all the instances. Oh, there's protein. My other one that I that I had entered. Here's another protein. Uh, so as you see, it's it's linking all those keywords that I think. And here's my offer. This is the link that I put, the call to action that I put um, as uh, you know for this particular post. Now also we have all of the tags down here as well. So depending on your theme, it will lay out a little bit differently than what mine looks like. Um, so it just really depends on that theme on, and, and what it's going to, you know, what the, the design is, is going to look like there. But as you'll see, it's very simple, very easy to use, okay? Now what we also have, I'm gonna hop back over here. is the scheduler, okay? Now, the automation is a pro version uh, feature, okay? So the basic version, you, everything that I've done so far is that's what you're gonna get. With pro, um, it's gonna give you basically this little automator here, okay? So you're gonna be able to enter some keywords and you can separate them with commas, so you can have multiples. You're gonna tell how many uh, posts to do at what interval, uh, what to include if the video or the thumbnails, and as well as your footer links in here, okay? Then you just put, click generate posts and on whatever settings you have here it will then post uh, create that many posts okay now uh, through the funnel uh, what the, he also has is as I said the pro version which is basically this automation this scheduler um, there's a developer license for it as well uh, and a reseller license as well uh, that you can that you can purchase okay so I mean it's a very very simple uh, simple plugin uh, works works really well I have not had any issues with it so far uh, in all my testing um, so what I'll do is I'm going to drop a link um, down in the description if you're watching this on YouTube uh, over to the to the sales page so you can go ahead and pick up your copy. And um, as I've said, it, it seems to be working really well. I didn't run into any issues. Uh, it's, it's pretty responsive. It's pretty fast. Uh, so go ahead and pick up your copy today.